People who lost their jobs by going off on a customer. What is your story? Many a year ago I worked at a home improvement store called Menards. I was a cart pusher, which was nice as I was outside all the time. Anyway we gather about 25-30 shopping carts together and push them up to the entrance where they are stored inside. Now to get them there we do have to cross the main drive of the parking lot in front of the store. We always stop and let customers drive by. So as I push the carts up I stop because I see a guy in a pretty nice SUV. He is actually stopped in front of the entrance maybe he dropped someone off I do not know. So I'm waiting to see if he drives off and he then looks at me and waves me across. Looks like he wanted to finish a call he had gotten or something. So I wave back and start pushing the carts across. I am on the other side when some clips me across the shoulder blades and it stung somewhat and pushed me forward. And at the same time I heard glass shatter. I turn around and the guy in the SUV clipped me with his side view mirror. It had swung closed and shattered the window and the door. And I'm just standing there wide eyed. Two seconds later the guy gets out of his car swearing up a storm at me and how I'm a low life piece of it and how I'm going to pay for a new window and that I'm not going to get anywhere in life because I broke his window. Now I'm the type of person that if I was the reason I'll take the blame and fix the problem. But this guy hit me. I blew up on him for about 5 minutes before a manager finally had the guts to come over and pull me away. I didn't have to pay for a new window as it was on video. But I lost my job because we are not supposed to yell and cut at the customer. Edit. Holy it. New year and redid gold. Thanks guys. It wasn't me but I've been told about it. Some guy just passed his training for a call center and a few days in. He answers the phone to a customer and they get into an argument. The argument goes on for nearly an hour and when the customer hung up. The guy called him back to continue the argument. The guy was in his late 50s and lost his job very quickly after. Not me, but my mother. She was working at an upscale cocktail lounge in Arlington, Virginia. Just out of college. Fancy place. All DC businessmen. It was common for large groups of men to come in and get absolutely wasted. One night, a guy decided, after a few cocktails, that it would be hilarious to untie the wrap skirt that was part of her uniform. Bad idea. My mother was furious and dumped an entire tray of martinis on his head. She was promptly fired, but still thinks it was worth it. I didn't say this, but I saw it happen. Working at Burger King many years ago, I was working the drive through register, which was close enough to the front registers that I could hear conversations. One of my co-workers was taking an order from a lady who kept asking how much her total was, and then cancelling food on it and changing her mind. I guess she was trying to keep under a certain dollar amount? Well at the Burger King I worked at, any cancelled food on an order needed a manager's password, thanks to one asshole who stole money by putting in someone's order, telling them the total, and then cancelling out the order and pocketing the money. So the manager had come by 3 or 4 times at that point. This was during dinner time, mind you. So there was a line of customers out the door waiting to order. Finally, my co-worker pulled out a pad of paper and a calculator. He started writing this woman's order down and totaling it out by hand. The woman asked him why he was doing that, and he told her when you make up your mind about what you want, then I'll put it in the register. This pissed off the lady, so she grabbed the notebook and tried to hit my co-worker with it. He snatched it back from her and told her get the duck out. My manager was only going to write him up for it, since the manager agreed that the lady absolutely deserved it. But my manager had to follow company policy. But he already had two retoops on file so she had to fire him. Edit. Oh hey. My first gold. A woman came into a charity shop and complained about every single item loudly to the 10 or so customers in there. Along the lines of this is all it. Who pays for this? Like with some boutique with clothes from the back of a van. She clearly didn't understand how rarely new clothes, still tagged ETC, are donated. Then she got in my face about it. I was so angry with her for chasing away the people that came in that I lost my cool. There was nobody left except her since she'd ranted them into leaving. I told her to get out and I didn't give a rit about the clothes or her opinions. She screams her way out of the shop broadcasting it to everyone on the street. She came back once the manager was off their break and complained again. So I lost my job fairly soon after. I can't blame them. I'd have done the same. I didn't get fired. 
but I was written up and yelled at management. It was the reason I quit a week later. I am in my early 40s. For fun. I took a part time job at a Legoland Discovery Center. I love Lego and love kids. It was a blast most of the time. However, at Legoland, employees build their name tags out of Lego bricks and attach minifigs. Kids who visit can trade minifigs with employees. The rule is that we have to trade because it's fun for the kids. Great. The only problem is that the center I worked at didn't supply any good minifigs. We just built our own from the builder fig buckets. I worked in the photo and entertainment departments, and noticed that lots of our guests would bring in their extra minifigs looking to trade, but were disappointed by the selection. So I began to buy tons of the mystery minifigs and had a large collection of my own at home. Each weekend, I put a bunch in my pockets and put them on my name tag throughout the day so that I could trade. I liked having Ninjago or Simpsons or whatever. I wanted kids to leave happy about their trade and feeling like they got something special. Most weeks I spent $75 or more on minifigs for trading. On May the 4th, I pulled out all my personal Star Wars minifigs because I knew we would be getting a lot of Star Wars fans that day. I had Vader and many Stormtroopers etc. This woman came in with a 3 year old girl and insisted that I give her my Stormtrooper. She didn't have anything to trade. But I smiled and gave it to her. Then the mom went and took a minifigs piece from the build tables and made her daughter trade with me for my Vader. I traded but was irritated because I only trade one of my personal ones per kid. There were lots of employees to trade with. The mom just wanted her kid to have my nice ones. The lady goes on to another area and in comes a group of likely Star Wars fans. One of the girls had an Ninjago minifig in her hand that she had brought from home. She was looking for someone to trade with and was headed over to my section. I put Admiral Akbar, a fairly rare one you can only get from the X-Wing fighter build set, on my tag along with Leia, excited thinking that I'm going to make their day. In swoops the lady who demand that I trade all of my figures to her kid who has 3 minifig pieces. I politely refuse and suggest that she ask the employee a couple feet away since we had previously traded twice already. She got very angry and began screaming at me because she had gone around the center and no one else had anything good. My manager came over and made me give her all of my minifigs. Even the ones I still had in my pockets. I was written up for refusing to trade and not caring about the guest experience. I was so pissed because I cared very much about the guest experience. Not the pushy parent experience. But the experience of the kid who just loves Lego and that's why I spent so much of my own money to make sure they left with something cool in their pockets. Edit. Wow. I'm amazed so many people care about this and Lego. I still love Lego. Didn't mean to disparage the company. Plus, Legoland Discovery Centers are owned by a different company. Edit. Gold. I'm humbled. I don't know how to process that. Thank you kind redditor. Worked at Gamestop as a gar. Game advisor. Some guy came in and had a figurative ass load of games, over 100, to trade. All with games and cases mismatched. It took about 45 minutes to process his ticket when I told him the total it was low, because Ga messed up and also they were all old. Scratched games. This man then proceeded to try and negotiate with me to which I kept telling him I can't change the price which only made him angrier and louder. Eventually he yelled listen you stupid nigger. I need at least $300 for all of this it and you're going to give it to me. First of all, I don't even have the ability to change the price. At all. Second of all my co-worker proceeded to put all of his games in a bag, walk outside and toss them into the parking lot and told the guy to take his racist cousin ducking ass somewhere else and to duck off. Store manager came out of the back room and fired him dead on the spot. The guy stormed out and the second he left my manager said Jesus what was his ducking problem. Alright get back to work. My co-worker didn't get fired it was just Theatrix for the racist cunt. I felt like an idiot for just standing there but it was taking everything I had to not hop the counter and hit the guy. I have a speech impediment and back when I worked at Starbucks, this young African American kid would come in every day after school and order a caramel frap. Every time I told him it would be $3.50. He would laugh uproariously and ask me to say it again. After a few weeks of this, he'd start bringing in his buddies as well. Each one would order the exact same drink then ask me to keep repeating the price for them again and again. After a few months, 
I broke down. You boys should know how much the drink is by now. My manager overheard and claimed I was being racist by calling them you boys. Even though they were all middle school age. Anyways. I still see the kids around town and they always shout at me. How much are those caramel flaps again? Obligatory. It was my co-worker but I was like 5 feet away. We worked in the produce section of Safeway. He had gotten in like 5 minutes prior and was obviously in a bad mood when a customer comes up and starts complaining about her fruit. He tries the normal talking points. But the lady is being rich. Finally he just loses it and yells. Duck off you stupid whore. He throws his apron at her and leaves the store. Never heard from him again. That was also the day I worked my first 16 hour shift. Was a stockroom assistant at a well known fashion chain in the UK and US. Didn't go off on a customer but I bloody well wish I did now. Happened to be behind Tills changing hangers boxes when a customer explodes at the trainee cashier demanding to know where her order was. She's screaming her head off at how it's unacceptable I paid extra and how she made a specific detail to collect her package. She had ordered a jacket in another branch and had paid for next day delivery to the store I worked in. Customers aren't supposed to come collect their orders until they get an email saying their order is ready to collect. The poor cashier started last week and is basically cowering for dear life. I take over and ask to see her email which she explains she doesn't need because she paid extra so her package must be here. After 10 minutes of me trying to explain why her package isn't ready to collect and her trying to challenge Krakatoa, she storms off shouting that she'll be having words with the guy who owns our company. I hand back to the cashier and carry on with my day. The next day I'm prepping our delivery and I get called for a meeting with the store manager. I'm told I'm being let go for gross misconduct specifically being unhelpful and challenging to customers. Turns out the customer was a journalist for the Daily Mail and she called our head of company who she did indeed know personally and got me fired specifically. TL. DR. Tried to reason with the Daily Mail journalist. Got fired for her stupidity. Yay for logic. Edit. Her jacket did indeed come an hour after she left the store. She came back with her email. Sweet victory. My sister was the manager of a women's clothing store. At the time she was dealing with some personal issues regarding depression and anxiety so she wasn't in the greatest state of mind to begin with. A customer came in with a pair of pants that had ripped along the inner thigh seams. Which were well past the return period and had clearly been worn washed. The customer, who was a larger woman, went off on a sales associate. Stating she'd only tried the pants on and that caused the seams to rip and she wanted a refund. She brought the associate to tears with her ranting and finally demanded the manager, my sister, enter my sis, and the customer starts yelling at her too. Sis promptly tells the customer that her pants split because she was a ducking fattus. She wouldn't get a ducking refund, and to take her fat ass out of the store and never come back. Sis then went in the back, called her boss and quit before she could be fired. Her boss actually was willing to let her stay but she chose to leave anyway until she could get her depression issues under control. Took a solid year but she's much happier and healthier now. I used to work at pizza place in a small town when I was a teenager. One night I took a phone order from some idiot woman. It went like this. Me. Thank you for calling pizza place. May I take your order? A W. Yes. I'd like a large pizza. Half pepperoni. Half sausage. And half black olives. Me. Okay. Did you want the toppings combined or separated? I W. No. I want half pepperoni. Half sausage. And half black olives. Me. Okay so you want 1 stroke 3 pepperoni. 1 stroke 3 sausage. And 1 stroke 3 black olives? I W. No. I want half pepperoni. Half sausage. And half black olives. Me. I understand the toppings that you want. But I'm not understanding how you want us to put the toppings on your pizza. Do you want them separated by thirds? Combined together? Or do you mean put half the amount that we usually put on? I W. What's so hard to understand? I want half pepperoni, half sausage, and half black olives. Me. Lady. There's only two halves to a pizza. I W. I want to speak to your manager. I got fired on the spot. It was easier for the manager to just hire another person than it was to lose a customer in a small town. Oh. And the lady wanted the toppings divided into thirds. 
She told the manager the same thing and he just went with her math. The itch also got it for free. Lost my position at a vet clinic. Story goes like this. Woman brought in her 5 year old dog that had diarrhea for the past week. Was untreated for it. She was tired of the dog messing in the house. So instead of having the dog treated for the condition she decided she would rather just have the dog put down. I proceeded to call her a dummitch while explaining to her the responsibilities that are involved when you decide you want to have a pet. I was fired. I never looked back. I didn't get fired but got a written warning for this. I was working chat tech support for a web host. Customer chatted in complaining of slowness claiming our servers were having issues. I do all the standard steps and we determine that his ISP is having issues. Standard Trasset. ETC. He doesn't believe me and becomes obstinate. So I end the chat by saying you're wrong. About 10 minutes later I get a new chat. I see the account name and the question. It was the same guy with the same question. Without letting him say anything I write you're still wrong and close the chat. If I wasn't one of the better techs I know I would have been fired. I used to cut hair. I was cutting a lady's hair when the child of lady waiting started running around the shop. I told the child several times to go sit with her mother and asked her mother to please keep her child seated next to her. Well, in the middle of cutting around my client's ear, the child ran into my work area, ran into me and almost caused me to cut my client. I looked at the child and firmly said you need to go sit down with your mother now. Well her mom didn't like that and came running back to me and yelled don't tell my child what to do. I'm her parent. I responded with then act like it. She glared at me, grabbed her child and stormed out. Everyone in the shop was relieved the child had left. A few days later the owner came and tried to fire me for it. But luckily there were enough other stylists and clients that came to my defense about the danger of the situation and I only got a write up. Not me. Somehow. But one of my co-workers. She was towards the end of a long day. And was the only register open. A customer came through. Making lots of special requests. And being particularly rude when she tried to ensure everything. Co-worker had enough. Closed her register. Moved to the next one over. And asked for the next customer. This didn't happen to me. But I witnessed it. A friend of mine used to work in a pizza place. I'd hang out in the lobby playing their Pac-Man machine. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Anyway, my friend is taking orders when a guy storms in, screaming about wrong toppings. He removes the pie from the box and frisbees it into my friend's face. My two-time Detroit Golden Gloves champion friend. What followed was the worst beating I've ever seen one man take. My friend lost his job and got jail time out of it. Luckily I didn't lose my job for this as the manager on shift was pretty lenient and agreed with me. So I worked at a pretzel place where you hand make everything. I had just finished rolling and bounced over to register to help out a customer. Lady asked hi, can I get your salted nuggets, but are they fresh? I knew for a fact they were. I had just rolled them myself and put them in the warmer. Indeed. Mum, I'd be happy to make you fresher ones if you want to wait 5 to 10 minutes. But I literally put these in here less than 5 minutes ago. She seemed happy and content. Sure. I'll take those. Thanks. Not even 5 minutes later she comes back hollering at me that I'm a liar. That I must be stupid because the nuggets were hard. Which I knew she was a liar because I had just made everything. What gets me is she came back even though she came back with less than half of the cut left. Must have been terrible. Right? So after I get called a liar. A moron. And she had the audacity to demand a refund and new fresh nuggets another three times. I turned to a co-worker and I said which I quote. Someone needs to help this itch because I'm not. Loud enough for her to hear and I stormed out of the store to the back room to cool off. Didn't get fired for this one. And it was glorious. Used to work in this little Thai place in town. And we had these teenagers who came in every Sunday. Rude and demanding. And tipped 0%. One day they're exceptionally awful to a new waitress, reducing her to tears. And so my boss calls me over. Next time they come, you take them, and you earn that 0% tip. I do a bit of a double take. She can't possibly mean what I think she means. You mean? She nods and gives me this smile that is equal parts devious and smug. A week later they come and 5 minutes into my shift, 
She seats them in my section, smiles at me and tells me to do my worst. Here is a fairly detailed account of the wonderful 45 minutes that followed. I wait a good 5 minutes before going to greet them and bring waters. They're ready to order. I don't have a pen. I'll be right back. I promise. I loudly tell my manager I'm going out for a smoke. Then go power smoke a cigarette. Takes me about 90 seconds. They're my only table and I'm not handling food yet. So I don't wash my hands. I reek of smoke. I take her order. Pad Thai no bean sprouts like always. As he opens his mouth to tell me he'll have the same I give him the just a minute finger and pull out my phone. I text my fiance registered sign and ask if he wants to get dinner from my place or his tonight. I take his order. I somehow misunderstand and write down extra bean sprouts. Their food comes up while I'm telling my boss and the other waitress a story about my cat. I finish telling the story before I get their food. I bring it out and walk away as they're starting to complain about the sprouts. About 5 minutes after they get the food I get a second table. One is a customer from a former job of mine and we spend a few minutes catching up when I go to greet them. The 0% s try to signal me as I leave the table. But I stare straight ahead. I come back for my new table's order and see that their glasses are missing roughly 4 sips of water. This simply won't do. I hang their ticket and come back to fill their glasses. I look at 0% s empty glasses. Look the guy straight in the eye, smile, and walk away. He stops me as I'm walking over with apps for my new table and asks for boxes. I tell him I'll grab them right after I drop off this food. I play a game of 2048 all the way up to 1024 before bringing them one small box. They ask for two bigger boxes in the check. I promise I'll be right back. And then ask my boss to keep an eye on the table I like while I go smoke again. Obviously I don't usually take this many smoke breaks. Especially not this early into a shift. I come back and my boss tells me they came to her for boxes and to pay and told her they're never coming back. She voids their check. Gives me the $20 some dollars. And tells me I earned it. TLDR. Boss gave me $20 to give over the top bad service to awful regulars. I didn't get fired but I got scolded and written up at the chain hardware store for a customer interaction. Formatting will suck. Okay. So imagine we're at the paint desk. A young couple meets me and asks for a neutral blue color in our most popular paint. Eggshell finish. No problem there. I tell them to come back in a little bit. I make it and toss it in the shaker. Another guy loudly walks up to the other end of the desk and wants 2 gallons an hour at paint in some atastic beige color in a semi-glass finish because his trailer isn't flossy enough. Whatever. I make it and put it in the shaker. All the while he's talking to his wife and whoever else was with him. Remember the blow paint for the young couple? It's done. So I stick it on the desk, their color card on top of it for identification, near where they were standing. Clearly away from it taco. Should be fine. That's what I figured. So I go back to whatever I was doing. Next thing I hear is it taco nearly screaming whoa 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 what are you doing? I glare at him because he is making a scene and I ask him. Still politely. What he's yelling about. He says. Ever so loudly. This your first day? Get me someone who knows what they are doing. Again. I ask what the problem is. Since his paint isn't ducking ready yet. He says you can't do anything right. I snapped and replied matching his tone and volume as people are starting to stare. Oh. This isn't the color you wanted? No. This isn't the finish you wanted? Does this look like semi-gloss to you? It isn't even the type of paint you wanted? Nope. Then I guess this isn't for you. Is it? And I ripped the paint away from him and gave it to the couple you was patiently waiting behind this retard. Yours will done in a minute. And he of course cried to the managers. Like the fat hairy baby he is. Who of course sided with him and gave him his paint for free and then tried to fire me over something they had zero witnesses to. 10 stroke 10. Duck this gay earth. Obligatory not me but my mother's previous co-worker. She worked at a burger joint restaurant and on a busy night this one table ordered mashed potatoes. The server tells them that mashed potatoes aren't on the menu but they have baked potatoes. They keep on insisting that they want mashed potatoes but eventually they seem to agree that a baked potato is fine. So when the order comes out so does the baked potato that they ordered. He puts it down on the table and the customers go we wanted mashed potatoes. The server has had enough at this point and goes mashed. You want them mashed? 
He raised his fist and smashed it down on the baked potato, giving the customer exactly what they asked for. Mashed potatoes. The management however did not find this dedication to the customer very professional and let him go. I didn't get fired for this. Which was pretty great because I threatened a mother with a timeout in front of her kids. I worked at a pool as a lifeguard and our pool doesn't allow water wings because they aren't coast god approved. But we gave out free life jackets for them to use. In comes Mama Rich with her two kids. One of them was like four and had the water wings. I told her she couldn't use but we had ones available for free. And she blew up on me. I guess her daughter really liked her water wings. I told her to talk to a manager because I'm not allowed to talk while watching the pool. But she kept yelling so I just repeated the line I'm instructed to use at kids who repeatedly misbehave. I already told to please talk to the manager because I have to watch the pool so if I have talked to you again. You have to sit in time out for 10 minutes. She glared at me and didn't even go to the manager. I didn't get fired for this but I worked at a Whataburger in a very small town and it's the only fast food joint near the high school so lunch rushes are really bad. This guy ordered a double meat double cheese and I explained that cheese is extra so he's like cool, the guy is already ordering $30 or something worth of food. So he gets his order at the window, checks his receipt and freaks out over the $1 cheese charge and wants us to fix it or something. Soon told him how I already explained to him it was extra and he's like no this is too much I want you to take it off. So there is a line wrapped around the store all ordering big meals so I reach into my pocket and throw all my change at him and tell him to leave. He looks at me with wide ass eyes and he drives off. We had no cameras and our manager was always in the office. So we got away with so much bullet. Edit. Since a lot of people are asking. Slice of cheese is 50 cents. He asked for double cheese on a bunch of stuff so it made his order obviously more expensive and yes we have to tell them extra cheese is going to be 50 cents extra per slice is that okay? Fired. Quit. It's a grey area. I worked in the rewards call center for a casino in my youth. People would call in and book rooms or show tickets with their reward points. Naturally everyone calling for a free room wants it on a weekend or major holiday and that just wasn't available. A lady called to get a free night in the top end suite on Valentine's Day with 2 day notice lost her it when I told her no. Saying she spends so much money and we don't even care enough to reward her loyalty and even attacking me personally. I just couldn't do it anymore. I calmly explained to her that I see you spend about $20 an hour in the casino. Yeah we really don't care about you. You could never come back and no one would notice. You need to start betting more than your entire family will ever be worth before we actually start caring if you come back or not. I obliged her request to speak with my supervisor and started packing my things. I quit. I didn't lose my job. And I didn't explode at the guy but I was moments away from doing so. It was marathon day and tons of people were out and about and our restroom key got stolen. It was packed butts to nuts. As to D. Fire code violation hell. I literally couldn't open the restroom for anyone. Not even if President Obama. The poop. My mama and a mama bear walked in needing to go would I be able to will the restroom door open. This was a famous chain cafe. One guy questioned that I was telling the truth and reached into my apron pocket. I was going to kill that guy. But I just walked away and cooled off in the back. When I came out. This guy was making a huge fuss about opening the restroom for him. I told him I couldn't. And he said can't you see I have kids. I replied can't you see I don't have a key. Then he just explodes in my face. I was going to push over and knock over him and his baby Carrego but that's when I quit. Because this job just made me want to hurt a baby. I worked as a server at an upscale country club and had these two gentlemen come in for lunch. One ordered and the other said. I'll have exactly the same thing. So I confirmed that's what he wanted and he replied. That's what I said right. I bring out their lunch and the second guy complains and starts getting rude with me because his lunch has onions on it. So I say, sir, you said you wanted the exact same thing but I can have the chef make you another one. So he says, listen to me you little ducking asshole. I know what I said and I never said I wanted onions. So I reply, if you ever speak to me like that again you and I are going to step outside and work this out. He pisses and moans to see the manager. 
who unbeknownst to me is sitting at the table right behind these guys having a beating with another member. She turns around and tells the guy, after the way you talk to my employee, I should let him. How about you both apologize and move on? P.S. I didn't get fired but thought I should share a story where a manager actually stands up for an employee. In hindsight she probably should have fired me because threatening violence on someone probably wasn't the best idea. Oh well. When you're 19 you think you're invincible.